this is obviously something that a lot of us are grappling with in, in, our, every, in our everyday life. How do you manage disappointment, Steve? It's interesting is most people don't want to talk about my disappointments. Most people <laughs> want to talk about my successes. The hard thing with disappointment, and you know, I had a, an example at the Barcelona Olympics where I, I went to four Olympics and I was probably in the best shape at the second one mm. and was running. If you look back on my results, that was when I was running best. And yet that's when I had my worst Olympic result. Now there were there were reasons why, and we, you know, we went into the dark room afterwards, and um, you know, and learned from that, and had those had those hard discussions. But um, it's interesting that you you still uh, you still have to prepare as well. So it's interesting you prepare for success and disappointment because you don't know which one you're going to get. So that's a classic case of being in the best shape of my life, a couple of things not going my way and probably a couple of final planning decisions that weren't right that ended up turning success into disappointment. But to be perfectly honest, for me, and this is, this is an interesting fact, I had you know, managers, coaches, training partners, personal you know, wife, um, um, sponsors who were all grappling with that disappointment, I cope with it a lot better because I, I have the race to run. I ran the race and halfway through that race, I realized that it wasn't going to be the result that I wanted to. So I, I was processing it internally as I was externally still battling to get to the finish line. So I couldn't just stop on the side of the road and go, okay, let's just you know, push pause on the race and while I take half an hour to analyse this disappointing situation because that's not how it works. The, the race still rolls on. And sometimes the world will still roll on around you. Whilst you're processing your disappointment, you have to understand that the world's not going to stop to allow you to have the time sometimes to do that. So you've got to do it on the run, so to speak, and that was the exact circumstance for me. 